Welcome back everybody to Moist Lands, also known as Uncle Karius' world. If you didn't know, it's called Moist Lands. Just in case you didn't know, look at it. it pops up right there, Moist Lands. I should just have that message on repeat. You know how you do like the auto message? I should have that shit on repeat. So yeah, this might be a juice focus episode today. Um, but I don't know if I'll fight the cactus worm in this episode, but there's some juice things that I want to do. Because Juiced had an update recently and it added in a absorbent. I'll just type in ABO because that's all I know how to spell. Alright, that's not how you spell it. Is it pump? Is it is pump right there? Endless water pump, super absorption pump. There it is. We need the super absorbent sponge. Cannot be using the abyss. If you didn't know. <laughs> so neat. Inlet, outlet. Oh shit. I don't know how to get the sponge. What's the easiest way to get the sponge? Sponge is hard mode though, so I don't even think we can get it. So uh, we're just gonna... Ingredients, hard mode fishing tokens. Do you think there's a way I can get the hard mode fishing tokens? That's pretty hard mode. I think there has to be a way we can get the hard mode ones. Come on, bro. All right, so we ain't doing nothing with that. So I guess we're moving on to other things. So we're gonna do some fishing in some specific areas this episode. Um, but let's fight off fighting the queen bee. I don't know. Start off. Did I say start off or did I say fight off? I don't know what the fuck I said. Let's fight the queen bee. I need to add a bunch of water up here. Like I'm gonna take a chunk out of. I'm gonna take a chunk out of this and add a bunch of water up there, and you guys will see why. You will see why in a little bit. In the meantime. Like I said, let's fight the queen bee. Why not? Why? What am I hitting? Let's go fight the queen bee. Uh, because I just want to get this thing out of my... Bro, how did I end up down here? I just want to... Oh, I don't have a double jump anymore. That's why I can't do my jumps on the crab. But yeah, let's get rid of this thing. I've been holding on to it for a while. I don't know why. And, you know, it's taking up some space in my piggy bank. Let's get rid of it. Plain and simple. Do I have an above ground arena i do good do i have the honeyed eye b i i do not have that on me all right it's fine we'll figure it out let's do it though queen bee you about to meet the melon brand all right that's gonna take years to do it that way um now we we'll good on accessories so let's just hook her okay let's hook her there we go what do you got is doing oh my god sometimes it does like 400 it that might be the bees imagine being a queen bee and the getting attacked by bees bro that's insult to injury right there you ain't even a queen on top well you are a queen you're the queen of the bees but on top of being queen of the bees you still don't have command over your own bees <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I went up off camera, just cleared a bunch of this sky island, a bunch of crimtain from the sky island. We're gonna turn it into a fishable spot, fishable crimtain spot, and I got a bunch of water down here that I wanna pump out. Uh, and I already took some with some buckets and brought some up there, but that takes way too long. So we're gonna do it the way I'm, that I wanna do it now, which is pumping, because we have the choice to do that. Originally, when I filled up my little uh, house here, that took forever. Because I had to do that little bug to infinitely have the water. Because that seemed like the only way, the fastest way to do it. But uh, let's see here. Got the inlet pump and the outlet pump. So we need just iron. Okay, now I'm going to throw that. We need just iron. Let's see how much lead and iron I have. 17. Lead. 52. All right, we're good on that. And then we just need uh, wires. Which I have 17 of, so we're gonna need more of that. So people give me ideas. I can't do this quest. I really want to do the quest, but it's angelfish. I don't have a sky island or the water yet. I'm about to have one, but I don't know if it'll count. We'll see. We will indeed see. So let me see here. Get a lever. Is that good? Is that all I need? I'm not sure. Yeah, might as well get that. I bought that on accident. Might as well get it. Let's get a bunch of wire. Because you never know. But, yeah, I need a sky island to fish on. That would help a lot. And this might be our solving. 
This might be our solution. There we go. I don't know why I said solving. Let's make these uh, pumps. So let's get 20 wire and pump. So we take the inlet one and we take the outlet one. So I've never used pumps before. At least I don't remember ever using pumps before. But I'm going to assume this is how they work. We want, we're going to intake the pump or we want to intake through the inlet. Can I just place a torch? So we're going to place this all the way at the bottom of the water. Boom. And uh, we want to connect the inlet to the outlet. Fuck, dude, this is like hard because I gotta do that thing where I gotta place a lot of wires. It's fine. It's fine. It's not that bad. But yeah, let's bring the outlet up here. Hopefully, you guys can see it's really dark up here. Bring the outlet right here. Boom, bada, bing. Now, I assume we connect them. So, uh, just give me a bit because this might take a while to connect them. Uh, there's probably an easier way. Probably. I don't know. There needs to be more wireless things, you know what I'm saying? I hope that is all connected. I can't really see through that. Is it all connected? Yeah, it looks fine. Nothing's highlighting when I go up Go up to it with the, uh, the control. Was it auto place? What was it called? Hold up. We gotta do this with the B. Take out the B. Do it with the B. It's easier. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I don't know if we have enough. We should have a lot. Y'all see that new that flying hemorrhage? I don't know what mod that's from. If that's is that calamity? It looks really nice if it's calamity. Props to them. That's a good sprite. I'm not sure. You know what looks really nice? The new perforator sprite. Sprite. All right, everything's connected. Let's see if I am smart or stupid. Well, you can't call me stupid because I don't really know how to use this thing. Is it something? Get it. You have to do it like this, really? That's fine, but it's, <laughs> it's kind of weird. We're good, I think. Do I gotta move it now? Let's try moving it. Probably same thing with that. Let's move this somewhere else. Probably move it on a flat surface. Can we fuck off? Damn, harpies. Can't you see I'm a fish with the wings? That's almost the same thing, right? Almost. Just don't think about it too much. Hold up, we gotta get rid of all these harpies. They just keep coming. Y'all weren't coming during the daytime. Spawn rates go up during the night, right? But they were not coming during the daytime. Where is my wire cutter? All right, let's do that. I think that's fine. Just need to do this. And this. There we go. I hope that's going up. I think it is. This is weird. I feel like this would have did it automatically. There's probably a big step that I'm missing here. Is it going up higher? It is going up higher. All right, keep going then. Let's check the bottom one. That fucking cactoid trying to chase me down. Let's check the bottom one uh, and see if it's actually pumping out the water down. It is pumping out the water. All right, so I kind of understand it. The only part I, I didn't get or didn't do a good job of was the automatically having it pump it so I don't have to hit the lever over and over again because there's probably there's definitely a way you can do it automatically or there better be a way you can do it automatically shit if there isn't that's kind of dumb oh shit oh god yeah that's fine it'll just go right back down there anyways uh let's move this let's do one block right here just so it's over this it's still going out. Bro, come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Drown. Get out of here. Flood out of here. But, uh, yeah, there we go. We got our little tiny fishing spot. It's not the greatest. I could probably make it deeper. And I probably should. But for now, we'll deal with it like this. Um, let me try it like this. Look at that sprite. That's a nice sprite. Let me try it like this. And see, actually, yeah, we should probably make this higher, too. Bro, come on, give me a break! So you might be asking, Game Raiders, why'd you go through all that work to get all that water up there? Well, you will see. You will see. Let's hop back on our uh, B mount, and I will show you why, hopefully, it doesn't take forever to fish. But uh, you never know. Let's see here. Um, 
I probably should do platforms like that. There you go. It's fine. I'll make it too big. Oh, look. Kill him. You do drop anything, kind fish that flies. I don't know. Alright, um. Oh my god, please. <laughs> please. He's shot from like every angle. Alright, um. Do that. Do this. Do that. Good to go. Fish on up. Wait, I should use the other rod. Ooh, flounder. We got a flounder. I should use this rod. I think this rod is the best. I'm not sure, actually. There's a lot of rods that I need to get. I'll look into getting them. So, what the fuck? Uh, we're looking for a certain something, and I don't know how hard it is to fish it out. Hopefully not too hard. So, uh, maybe I should montage this more than likely. We got a desert crate. Probably should. Let's give it a little bit. Give it just a little bit, man. Have some hope. Come on. So, we're getting desert on top of crimson, and I think on top of sky. So, this is like a really good pawn I set up. Really, really good. Alright, let's try one Uncle Karius' thing. What will we get? Not too much. You guys want to see something cool now? After this uh, juice, recent juice update. It should work. There you go. His pole latches on. It only latches on though if you have uh, battle rods installed. Which is really cool. Shout out to Juiced. You're about to see something even cooler from Juiced in a sec. Got done fishing and as you can see i got two weapons here both from the juice mod and shout out to juice like i said earlier that's the boy you know i dropped a little suggestion on his discord wink wink go on his discord and drop some good suggestions make sure make sure they're good though don't don't be bad suggestions but as you can see we got a toxic bucket from the corruption it, could, it tells you right there fishing the corruption after the eater worlds has been defeated and we got bloody bucket Fish in the Crimson after the Burning Cthulhu has been defeated. Obviously, we didn't defeat the Burning Cthulhu, but the Eater of Worlds is the same thing. Kind of. Uh, but yeah, we got these two buckets. We also got Corrupt Crate, which is vanilla. Ooh, we got some goodies from that. We'll hold on to that. Everything else will store. Obviously, Strange Crates. You know how it is with those. Uh, we also got a Crimson Crate. Ooh, Silver Bars and Desert Crates. This is from Modest Fishing Content. Whoa. That gives you gold stuff. Okay, interesting. We'll hold on to the gold stuff. The carpets we don't need though. And same thing with the boots. Oh, the little books, flurry boots. Um, iron bar will keep. Yeah, let's test out these buckets. This is a little idea I dropped. Like I said, suggested by me. Perfectly executed by Juice. You ready? It does fishing damage too. Splash. Oh my god. We are here splashing on the. Oh my. We out here splashing on these dudes. Do you see this? This is amazing. So yeah, my suggestion was <laughs> in my head one day I was just like, when's if there was a bucket that you just splash on enemies and it did fishing damage? So boom bada bing, the idea came into my mind. I went on Juice's Discord. It was a, uh, it was good from there. It was smooth sailing from there, and that's smooth with a D. Smooth, smooth sailing. But, uh, let's head to this farm real quick. I need to sell these items. I need to sell all of these. All of these. Alright, so sell those. Now, the question is, what do I get rid of? Probably the melon brand, if we're being honest. Even though the melon brand does more damage. Let's reforge your bucket. We're going to use the bloody one. I think the bloody one's better. Very slow speed, very weak knockback. Very, yep, same thing. Just more damage. So let's see if we can get damage. I don't think speed will be that crazy. So unreal. There we go. 
That's looking good. We're replacing the melon brand for uh, a bucket. You know, it doesn't sound good when you say it like that, but come on, it's a bucket. All right, so we're gonna be taking on the uh, the pump. What the hell is this guy's name? Pumpkin, flaming pumpkin. I knew that. So let's do it. As you can ignore the background, as you can see, I got cooked eel. So we caught this eel when we were up there in the Crimson Island, and it says imbues you with sandy strength. So I want to eat that real quick. Improve desert defenses. <laughs> you know, it's fine. I'll take it. Let's do it. Though. I'm ready to take this boy on. You about to out. You about to get some of this. Hopefully the audio isn't louder than me. Who knows? But we're going to use the bucket this fight. Hopefully not regret using the bucket. I'm regretting using the bucket already. I'll be honest. We'll use it. Oh, God. Why am I so close? We're going to use it for a little bit. Just to show you it can be useful. But uh, we may be a little bit past its tier of usefulness, if you know what I'm saying. How about this? We'll do it like this. Okay, we're dying. You know what? We'll, uh, we'll, how about we just kill him? <laughs> Doing a little bit, a little bit of damage. Dude, what? Is there one all the way down here? I don't know. Oh my god, this is bad. This dude hits really hard, and I hate it. <laughs> Doesn't he have a second form, too, which makes him even harder? I don't know. We're just gonna hopefully not get hit all the time. It's hard to do. He's got really good projectile projectiles like he shoots them like straight at you so i have a feeling the fish not a feeling the fish and the bucket are very close when it comes to the type of projectiles they shoot very similar as well i should say not close um so maybe if you can't get your hands on uncle carius's rod you can get your hands on the uh the bucket there you go. Because I know there's a new way you have to get legendaries. I don't even know the new way. I haven't really, I didn't really read it. But I know there's a new way. That's plain and simple. I just know there's a new way. Can we kill this guy though? This dude beating my ass right now. I, I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it so much. My voice just cracked right there. Bro, we're sending out. We're sending. Okay, we're going to die. Let's not mess around. I'm going all the way up here so he can't hear me. <laughs> or can't hit me. Don't kill me. Fucking killed me! <laughs> All right, we're gonna destroy this boss this time. No fooling around. I'm lying. We're gonna fool around. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Get destroyed. Easy work. Never had a problem. Never died. Look at little baby flaming pumpkins. All right. What's in the bag? It don't matter because it's a throwing accessory. So it's a throwing accessory, right? No, it's not. But this part is throwing. I don't know. There actually might be like a side use. And then it doesn't matter. It's not a fishing boss, anyways. But yeah, I'm gonna end off this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Good Aim Raider. <laughs>